I've never done one of these water pumps before, but I bet it's going to be fun. So sit back, relax, and let's see if uh, maybe I can fix it. I got a rebuild kit for the water pump. It's not going to get any easier than right now to get in here and get the water pump. It's I don't know how many thousands of hours got on. It's got a little bit of play. It's not leaking, but it's not going to get any easier. All I got to do is get these four bolts on the bottom. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, that's what holds it on. I'm going to loosen it up. And uh, once I get them popped loose, uh, I can take, I've already got them a little bit loose. Once I get a little bit of slack on them, that's tight. in the press my first thing to do is to press the pulley off and this is what I've got set up for it seems like when you buy a press you never have the things you need to press things out with so you spend hours digging around your shop looking for giant chisels and punches and scrap iron and other things to Yep, let's try it. Either gonna make it or break it. Or bend it. Whoa, we're squatting. Ooh, we're getting some squatting action going. Oh, there we go. Boy, that scared me. Can I uh, press that doohickey out there? I won't get that set up. Okay, all reconfigured with eight sockets, deep wells, and I got my paddle out of the way now, so we got room to drop it. And I think we're just gonna go for it. And Hope that we don't bust the housing. I should probably try to get a little more square than that. That's just the way it is and nothing broke, but damn. Oh yeah, I can see where it moved. Thank you. 
get something to push that out the rest of the way with. All right, there it is. So our new kit over here. So we got the the uh, seal retainer, that blue thing. That's what's supposed to help me press the seal in. Now the shaft here, um, there's only one way it can go in, or supposed to go in. There's a groove on one side and nothing on the other side, so that's gonna make it easier. I imagine the groove side is gonna go to where the old seal is there. Um, so what I'll have to do is get my housing all cleaned up and get this stuff ready to install. I have instructions um, when it goes to putting the pulley back on. There's a measurement that goes from the back side of this case to the front side of the pulley. I'll I'll get to the when I get to that I'll I'll get into more detail on that. But uh, right now I just got to get it cleaned up and ready to install the new bearing shaft and pillars and seal. And I'll be back. All right, I got just uh, ever so slightly uh, thin coating on there. As you can see here, you can see on the uh, on the last one the John Deere dealership did. They did the same thing. I imagine it's pretty common practice. That's why I figured, well, I'll do it too, just a little bit, just to keep make sure, you know. So now I got that there, I'll, uh, ooh, set, and set this guy down here like that. And then I'll uh, go ahead and press that on. Got me a tool here, it's profiled for it. Oh, let's see, what do I got here to... There we go. Uh, as far as press standards are concerned, I'm a mile away from it. <laughs> quarters of a mile. Oh, half a mile. Oh, this is taking forever. I just thought about something. I have to be supporting the underside of that shaft right there. If I'm not supporting that, I can push that shaft right on out the bottom or the bearing anyway, where I have it pressed. And that would suck. So I have to put something underneath there. So I, I'll be back, I have to reconfigure this. All right. As janky as that looks, that's more correct because I'm pushing that seal down over that shaft. So that shaft has to be supported. So yeah, right now this is perfectly secure. I just have to finish pressing that seal in there. Until it bottoms out. I'm just about there. Okay, our seal's installed. 
so we're good there. All right, now we have to put the impeller on. All right, so the next part, the other calling for the impeller to be 25 thousandths. That says that somewhere on here. Uh, do the thing. It's not. It says 25 thousandths. You gotta take my word for it. Wait a minute. No. There, 25,000 something microns, I don't know. <clears throat> and microns, yeah. But anyway, I don't have really a good way. I, I gotta get 25,000s in between the propeller and this plane right here is what we're shooting for while still supporting the shaft that we're pressing down on. So I'm gonna kinda just start rocking this down. Hang on with me here. I hope this goes well. It seems to be going. Starting to get close to doing the thing. Uh, so, what I'm going to do Man, that seems pretty Frickin' golden right there. Maybe just a little bit more. Oh yeah, that's that's good. That's exactly what she wants. Twenty-five thousandths. So now all we have to do is from this face here to the front of the pulley. Now, when we press that other piece on here, that the instructions say the pulley. Now, I don't know if they mean the, the piece that we're pressing on here or the pulley. They're saying the pulley. So what I'm gonna do is when I get this back on, I'm gonna measure the thickness of the pulley to the thickness of where, you know, how thick the pulley is, and I'm gonna subtract that. A six and a half inches is where it's supposed to end up from there to the face of the pulley. Or, you know, from, from here, this plane to the face of the pulley. Now, that's gonna have everything to do with your belt alignment, so I mean, six and a half inches there's not a plus or minus there they just say six and a half inches so if it's an eighth of an inch either way i, I don't know if your belt's going to slip off we have problems with our alternator belt bracket it's it's a little tweaked i'm going to try to fix that but anyway that's another story um i gotta press that guy on there so i'll be doing that okay my instructions got me all screwed up here According to this, their line right here, that's pointing to where as if the water pump was split, which would mean the back of the housing here is what I was in the understanding of, but it's, it's not. Because when you go to press that pulley on, um, <laughs> you'd see that it's just not right. Um, it has to go on a lot further than that. So what it actually wants to measure off of is the back to where 
the back of the water pump housing meets up with the block. Uh, what I did is I took the pulley and I measured or st stuck it up there by where the uh, 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 shoot, I'll just stop this and go take another video. But yeah, what I did is I lined it up like that to where it'd be where it was supposed to be and then took my measure on the back of the block or on the face of the the block right there is where I got that taped off is where the pump goes I just taped it to paint it but then it yeah then my measurement when I measure off of it it's I get that 6.54 inches I it's not like that now because I can't hold it and that and the phone at the same time but that's what I was trying to say okay so I did some math off some pulleys and the back of the other back of the uh, back half of the water pump and uh, I got it pressed in the you know, I won't know if it's right until after I put the thing together but you can't put these pumps together because you have to you have to be able to press on that shaft right there and I used an old uh, an old wrist pin out of a lawnmower engine and and uh because you can't you can't press on that because remember we got this to set to a uh, 25 thousandths of clearance in between here the only thing you can press on is that shaft to get that uh pulley back on there so have to use your due diligence and uh so i'm gonna put this back together now and uh then i'm gonna measure it and see how our pulleys look see we go from there because i still gotta get the um hydraulic pump and all that good stuff back together too okay well i got my surfaces nice and clean here i think i'm just about ready to put some uh gaskets on this thing and a little bit of uh rtv sealer here and I got the surfaces nice and clean with my favorite thing, scotch Bright, Brake Clean. That way, uh, you know, everything's good and clean and not greasy. It's, it just, that scotch Bright does such a nice job getting everything good and clean again. I, I like to use it. So, um, let's see, I put the gasket on and then I'll let that sit, put the pieces back together. And then for that part, we torque the housing to 20 foot pounds. And then once we put the pump back on, I got another gasket for that. This thing here, you have to be careful because they just take two pieces of cardboard and tape them together and the dang thing was, was taped to the package i almost almost kind of snagged it it's kind of bent there it sucks but um let's see God. okay yeah and then this is the one for the back of the housing that goes on the tractor and then that will get torqued down to 35 foot pounds and uh yeah that's that's where we're at there all right <clears throat> i got uh i got the thing sitting on here i don't have uh that gasket in yet back here but i wanted to take some measurements because this this is unfortunately not going to work i'm if you measure down here and say for example on those front two sets of pulleys where the water pump runs the center of that back pulley or the number two right here is three and a half inches so if i come up here off the same face of the block and measure on that one it's more like Oh, I'd say three and three quarters to center. 
and uh, so there's a little bit of play there because of the gasket but I, I got to press this pulley <clears throat> in probably clo close to another quarter of an inch now I, I, I kind of want to just uh, scream and take a hammer to it but to do this right I'm gonna have to split that and try to save that gasket and push this pulley in another quarter of an inch otherwise it's gonna be off I mean you can almost tell just by looking at it that it's off um, yeah that's gonna have to be addressed before I can put this back on unfortunately so I'm gonna take that back off split it apart and press it like another quarter of an inch just under a quarter of an inch it looks like and uh, then I should be good uh, my measurement according to that 6.54 is really actually kind of close so I don't know where they came up with that number I guess this is just something good to note if you go to do this that just take some good measurements off off of everything before you go pressing it back together or otherwise you'll end up in the scenario that I'm in. See how much fun this isn't going to be trying to get this off of here. Oh. Oh boy. Guess the secret here is be real gentle. Oh, I don't want to screw up my new gasket. Man, this sucks. I'm gonna try to keep the gasket on the uh, cover. But I don't know how good this is going to work. I feel like if I can find a good spot to get up underneath of it. Oh man, my glue job is good. I just not going to be able to do this one-handed well I got it started but it's wanting to go and stay stuck to the housing side so we'll go with that just as long as I don't wreck it careful don't cut the gasket Matter of fact, I should probably have my cutting edge facing 
the back or away from the gasket so I don't cut it. side of there too so I gotta try to run this down in here to get all that free This one, uh, I want that to stay. Guys, gonna stay down. I just about got it freed up to where a guy can save it. This is not ideal. Okay, how we look. Okay, I think uh, we're still in good shape. It doesn't look like any damage has been done. So now, uh, that guy has got to go in another quarter inch-ish. Just shy of a quarter inch anyway. Okay, let's get this to the press. Alrighty. So, what I got to do here is, once I start pressing this thing, I'll measure off of it since I know what distance I need to go, roughly, well, it, the pulleys it measured, the pulleys were about a, exactly a quarter inch difference, but then I got to subtract about a sixteenth of an inch roughly for the thickness of the gasket. So really all I have to do is put my measuring tape on here and um, go off of a surface. We're at... Uh, focus okay so we got to come down about all oh, three sixteenths let's see
come down to about, well, it needs to be at about four, four and five eighths. I believe will make us right. Okay, I'll try to get us to that. Okay, so you can see there we got our four and five eighths. So hopefully, with any luck whatsoever, I can put the stupid thing back together and it'll be right. All right. Okay, I finally got it back together. I think we're looking good. We got three and a half inches to center. Whoop, down here on that back. Whoop, well, there it says three and a half. That's center. And then, whoop, whoop. Same deal up top, three and a half to center. So, our pulleys are back in line. I got a belt on there. That's looking a lot straighter. So I'm going to call that a success. Water pump is on.